What's up, y'all? Welcome to Nodge of All Trades. I am your host, Nodge. And this entertainment news bulletin, um, as I hinted in the last video I did, um, we'll be talking about Tyra Banks and her hosting of Dancing with the Stars. Um, basically, for 28 seasons, Tom Bridgeron hosted the dance competition series until a disagreement with producers over the casting of former White House Prez Secretary Sean Spicer caused his firing. Tyra took over for season 29 and immediately received a lot of criticism. The former Victoria's Secret Angel has hosting experience from her time on America's Next Top Model and America's Got Talent, but fans felt she didn't fit the Dancing with the Stars format. And they are in season 31 now, so she's been there for the last three seasons. Well, 31 is currently going on. Um... The host received a lot of criticism in recent years after ANTM clips resurfaced on social media, revealing Tyra's harsh treatment of contestants. The model body shaming contestants put them through mental abuse and even conduced a bizarre photo shoot where models had to dress up as someone of a different race. Tyra's attitude on the show put a bad taste in fans' mouths, making it more difficult for them to enjoy her on Dancing with the Stars. Last season, Tyra was criticized for everything from being too extra with her outfits to talking over contestants and embarrassing them with her comments. This season, Tyra has been joined with America's Funniest Home Videos alum Alfonso Ribeiro, who also played uh, Carlton on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And I forgot his character on In the House with LL Cool J, but you know what I'm saying? That was a good show as well. Um, but yeah, okay. But he has saved her from fan critique. After just one episode of This With the Stars Season 31, fans already have a lot of opinions about Tyra's hosting skills. During the premiere about two months ago, there were a few technical difficulties, but fans don't believe this was anyone backstage's fault. Instead, they think Tyra is responsible for how many times she messed up during the premiere, and she should stop trying to blame anyone else. Tyra calling out the producers for messing up the leaderboard. Ma'am, blaming them does not make you look like you know what you're doing. Twitter user at Bailey Walkman wrote, The incident occurred when Tyra incorrectly announced which couple was in the lead based on judges' scores, saying the board was telling her the wrong thing. Other fans were irritated by how Tyra treated the contestants on Dancing with the Stars. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Let me read that over. Page up. Other fans were irritated by how Tyra treated Dancing with the Stars contestant Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie is known for going viral on TikTok with her trendy dances. After Charlie finished her dance during the season 31 premiere. Tyra announced that she expected Charlie to be a bratty and stuck-up TikTok teenager and was shocked by how nice she is. Fans thought it was very disrespectful for Tyra to say this. Tyra did not just do that to Charlie. Twitter user at It's Haley wrote, Other fans noticed that the host mispronounced professional dancer Peta Murgatroyd's first name by accidentally pronouncing it as Peter. At this point, fans on social media are begging Tyra to just stop talking. <laughs> While Dancing with the Stars has added a co-host to support Tyra throughout season 31, it doesn't look like much has changed from last season. Fans are still upset with Tyra's behavior and how she speaks to contestants, and it doesn't seem like she's listening much to their feedback. Of course, fans are being a little harsh on the host, as it seems like nothing she does is ever good enough for them. However, Dancing with the Stars fans would really appreciate it if Tyra could at least try being a little bit more respectful on the show. And also, the article I uh, just read from was about two months ago from September 24th, so it was kind of around the beginning. And I just so happened to look, um, she said a sly, a sly comment and fans cringe at this awkward joke she made with Judge Lynn Goodman. 
and it goes on to say around the episodes 1930 mark Tyra interrupted I heard the audience make a sound when Lynn said he was transported to a club in Argentina and she jokingly made bass noises and pumped her arm up to demonstrate what you talking about a club she asked Lynn turned to Derek in confusion replied I don't know what you're talking about as he raised his hands in exasperation <laughs> and here is a twitter user at Meteor Meteor catching up on Dancing with the Stars and Lynn being done with Tyra is killing me because me too LMFAO left my fucking ass off some Dancing with the Stars fans immediately noticed Lynn's reply and stormed to Twitter to call out the cringe e moment catching up on Dancing with the Stars and Lynn being done with Tyra is killing me Lynn still doesn't get Tyra's jokes a different user wrote through the exchange struck Lynn and fans alike as odd Bruno backed Tyra up by saying he knew what she was talking about I'd go club with you right now he chimed in so yeah basically they are going in on this woman um they just don't like her ass um every little thing every little mess up I mean she hosted it for the last three seasons she's still getting backlash and like a lot of the fans that's probably watching Dancing with the Stars, a lot of them are, you know, ANTM fans. And Oliver Twix did, he got a plethora of videos of pretty much every contestant from every season almost. And I've watched some of them, and they pretty much are in agreement. Like the same experience happened to them. So based off of that yeah a lot of people just don't like tyra based off of that so um yeah tell me your thoughts like share subscribe comment